This video is a brief introduction to the Folio Code of Conduct and the process used to bring it to the community. My name is Peter Murray and I am the Open Source Community Advocate at Index Data and I chaired the working group that developed the Code of Conduct. The purpose of of the code of conduct is to protect members of a community from harm in that community's spaces. The Folio community is widely diverse with people coming from libraries and service providers from all around the world. It is in all of our interests that Folio is a safe and welcoming community so that we can bring the best ideas to the front to address the needs of library patrons. Since the start of the project, we have valued the diversity of experiences, ideas, and opinions represented in the subject matter experts, development teams, and organization leaders. The Code of Conduct sets expectations for how community members will interact with each other. We know that there will be disagreements, but we expect people to work through those disagreements effectively, produ productively, and respectfully. By setting these expectations, existing community members and new community members will have a sense as to how they will be treated in the folio meetings, webinars, issue comments, and in all of the other ways that we communicate with each other. A working group was formed last year from volunteers that wanted to work on a code of conduct that was specific to the needs of the Folio community. We have been working since then on the draft of the code and the processes that surround the code. A preliminary version of the Folio Code of Conduct was used during the WolfCon meeting earlier this year. With the drafting done, the working group is asking for the endorsement of the Product Council, the Technical Council, and the Community Outreach SIG. There will then be a call for community support volunteers, or CSVs, that will guide the enforcement of the Code of Conduct, and a process to vet the volunteers to help ensure that there are no conflicts. The names on the right are the people that volunteered for the working group, noting that Christopher Spaulding's efforts were early in the drafting process. The process document calls out characteristics of good community support volunteers. The working group was guided by the research and activity of Frameshift Consulting in their book, How to Respond to Code of Conduct Reports. They found that the community is best served when the CSVs have knowledge and experience with forms of discrimination, are not necessarily in positions of leadership in the project, and have a public reputation for supporting a diversity of voices. The names of the volunteers are published, and there is an open comment period where members of the community can voice concerns about volunteers. A code of conduct is not useful unless there is a means for reviewing reports of violations. The CSVs are empowered by the Folio community to use the code of conduct to protect community members from harm in community spaces. This is done by taking in reports of violations of the Code of Conduct, researching the matter, and where appropriate making sanctions on violators. The CSVs also publicly acknowledge reports and provide the community with information about the state of the Code of Conduct. The Frameshift Consulting Guidance suggests the CSVs use the minimum response to ensure the continued safety of the Folio community. This might be as simple as, for example, explaining why the behavior was in violation of the Code of Conduct and getting an agreement to not repeat the action. Severe repeated actions may result in a sanction that bans someone from the community. Now that the working group has completed its drafting process, we are asking community members to review and endorse the Folio Code of Conduct. We recommend that all members of the community, subject matter experts, developers, designers, product owners, and organization leaders, read the code and understand the expectations for participating in the Folio project. We are specifically asking the Product Council, the Technical Council, 
and the community outreach SIG to vote to endorse the code and draft processes. We also encourage participating organizations to understand that sanctions from the community might have an impact on, a job, on job assignments in organizations. We also ask that volunteers consider nominating themselves to serve as community support volunteers when that call is published. The Code of Conduct is on the Folio Wiki, and when it is, when it is endorsed by the Folio Councils, it will be added as a link to the headers that are on top of many of the Folio websites. The process document is mostly complete, and the working group anticipates that the first group of community support volunteers will complete and post the process document to the wiki. If you have any questions, please ask one of the members of the Code of Conduct Working Group, and thank you for your attention.